Meghan Markle reportedly texted a list of instructions to royal staff as early as 5.30 a.m. every morning, a royal expert has revealed. The Duchess of Sussex has been surrounded by what author Katie Nichol described as an unusually high turnover of staff. And royal expert Ashley Pearson told Entertainment Tonight that Meghan Markle's barrage of early morning texts might be why. Ems Pearson said, Meghan gets up early 5 o'clock in the morning often. She gets on the treadmill or whatever and starts texting her team members about things for that day. Probably in her mind she's just getting her day set up. But royal staff members were certainly not expecting or happy to start getting a barrage of text message instructions at 5.30 every morning, and took great umbrage and offense at that. But I would just say celebrities do that. So for her, I think she was a bit shocked, certainly, that within the royal family there's a whole different protocol when it comes to speaking to staff. A fourth member of the Duchess of Sussex's team resigned last month after only joining last year. Amy Pickerill, who was assistant private secretary to the Duchess, was tipped to replace the Duchess's private secretary before she resigned this month. Ems Pickerill's departure follows the resignation of Meghan's PA Melissa Twabti who left after only six months in the job. A Kensington Palace source told Harper's Bazaar, Amy is leaving after the arrival of the baby. The Duchess will be very sad to see her go but is excited for her as Amy has exciting plans ahead including spending some time abroad. Amy had originally planned on staying until at least the end of the year, but with a baby coming it makes sense to help recruit someone now who can pick up when the Duchess returns to her official work. They will definitely stay in touch and Amy will be on hand for any advice and help that is needed in the future. The Duchess's bodyguard also quit in January, sparking rumors that Meghan is hard to work for. Prince Harry and Meghan, who are expecting their first child in late April or early May, are set to move out of Kensington Palace over the coming month. The Cambridges and Sussexes also split their royal households and formally separated their staff this month. The royal couple had been living at Kensington Palace in London, near William and Kate and their three children. But Meghan and Harry moved to Frogmore Cottage, on the grounds of Windsor Castle this month ahead of the birth of their baby. Meghan is expected to give birth at Frimley Park Hospital, where the Countess of Wessex was also delivered of her two children.